First up board, the state of Oklahoma has executed a man who kidnapped, raped, and murdered a 21-year-old University of Oklahoma student in 1996. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tatum Gwynn. And I'm Jonathan Cooper. Anthony Sanchez had been on death row for nearly 20 years after he killed OU ballerina Julie Buskin. News 96's Reagan Ledbetter has the details on today's execution at the Oklahoma State Penitentiary. Today's execution started a few minutes late because the Department of Corrections staff was waiting on a last minute decision from the U.S. Supreme Court. In Anthony Sanchez's final words, he said he was innocent and didn't kill anybody. He thanked his supporters and said his lawyers were the worst ever in the state of Oklahoma. Prosecutors say Sanchez kidnapped Julie Buskin from her Norman apartment in 1996, forced her into a car, then drove her to Lake Stanley Draper, where Sanchez raped her and shot her in the back of the head. Cleveland County prosecutors say there was circumstantial evidence tying Sanchez to the brutal crime, but the smoking gun was Sanchez's DNA on Buskin's clothes. Sanchez challenged his conviction back in April, saying that his father admitted to killing Buskin before his father committed suicide last year. Sanchez had been on death row for 17 years. Witnesses to the execution say the process started at 10.08. Sanchez was declared unconscious by doctors at 10.14 and pronounced dead at 10.19. Sanchez's spiritual advisor, Reverend Jeff Hood, was in the chamber with him, and Sanchez's aunt was in the viewing area, and her and Sanchez waved at each other during the execution. Attorney General Gettner Drummond and his staff also attended the execution and says he has talked with Julie Buskin's family several times leading up to today. On their behalf, I visited with them numerous times since uh, in the last nine months before the execution and after the execution. They want me to convey their deepest regard to the Department of Corrections for their excellence in all manners and to the Attorney General's Office Victims uh, Services. Julie um, was murdered. 26 years, nine months, and one day ago. And the family has found closure and peace. Philip Hancock is the next death row prisoner set to be executed. Hancock killed two men back in 2001. That execution is scheduled for November 30th and will be the last execution of this year. In McAllister, Reagan Ledbetter, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.